One of the great things about living on a peninsula here is that you always got a beach with clear glassy water. I'm gonna do a little uh, review video of the Garmin Instinct 2 right here. You can see your stress level, your heart rate, and you can see what your body battery is. Right now it's like afternoon. I still have 39 left in my body battery. So there's a whole bunch of bio data, biometrics you can access in here. Tells you when sunset is, tells you what your last sport is, the weather, gives you body temperature. Just so much stuff, very handy. Lots of cool features. We're gonna take this thing on a paddle and we'll put up the map with the, with the data and stuff that comes from the paddle, a couple, see some distance. I primarily use it for paddle boarding, but it's great for biking and runners, or at least that's what it's marketed for. It seems to work pretty well for me. Great watch. I'm gonna jump out on this paddle board. We have it in set mode right now. There's a lot of different modes. So we got a timer, we got distance, we got buttons on the side so we can easily start stuff. We got the rain jacket, we got a down jacket. We got a non-cotton long sleeve shirt. I don't always have like a normal shirt under that. Always keep cotton off your body just in case you fall in. We're doing the dry suit pants, uh, inflatable PFD. We got gloves and booties. And you also don't want to wear cotton socks inside your booties and they will make your feet super cold. So just go either barefoot or uh, like some hiking socks or something like that. All right, without further ado, Let's jump out there, we'll get these gloves on, and we'll get out there, we're gonna start our watch. And we'll get out there and we will get stroke rates, pace, and we'll get a little bit of distance, get our heart rate as we're out there. Yeah, so one of the other cool things that you can do with this watch is that you can set up screens on here. So on this screen, I've got a miles per hour, I'm going 5.4 miles an hour. Heart rate of 79, 34 strokes, get all your data right on your wrist right there. Pretty cool. We've gone 0.7. We're going to go back. We'll end up doing a mile and a half by the end of this. Let's go see what we can do. We're only a heart rate of 81. I could crank a little bit harder. Standing and talking for a minute though. Let's do it. The temperature on my wrist is 60 degrees. I am getting warm. Definitely starting to sweat a little bit out here. We're gonna have to unzip some of this stuff. My wrist temperature is up to 66.6. So the other cool thing that this has, the high intensity interval training option, which I'm sure you can't see from there. We are gonna do a Tabata workout. It's like 20 seconds of work and 10 seconds of rest. Let's do one round, and then we'll maybe do another round on the way back. All right, let's do it. Let's see what a little bit looks like. And go, there it goes. Here we go again. Go. And then we rest, and then we do it again. All right, that was 10 rounds. Got my heart rate up to 144. And when I was paddling before, we were really only getting up to like, 90, 100, pretty low. It's hard to, hard to attain a workout heart rate um, when I'm just kind of out here traveling, having fun, and even when I'm trying to get somewhere on purpose, test speed testing a board, it's still pretty low, but whew, nothing like wind sprints to get the heart going. I'm already down to 130, so that's good. I think we'll do another 10 on the way back. Heart rate is down to 93. Let's start another round. Here we go. I'm sure the lens got a little bit foggy at times, but beautiful. Watch works really good. Con consult the manual for all these details. Pretty darn good watch. Definitely is functioning and getting me the data that I needed to get. 
for sure. Battery life is great. We got this like seven to 30 day battery life, depending on what options you got. And nothing like a couple weeks of rain to make you realize just how beautiful sunshine is. Look at that beautiful day. Goodness.